Hi guys, I'm Tom from Lewer, where I'm responsible for building products, technological products for our clients. And today I will tell you a bit how your product should be prepared for a development, why it's important and uh, why you shouldn't leave it for the development company only. So the first question, why it's important? Uh, the answer is simple. Development companies, developers, are experts in their domain in software development. When you are going to develop an application, then in most cases you are not doing uh, the next Jira or uh, an other tool for developers. So they need to understand what you are going to do. They need some input uh, to deliver you good quality software. Yeah, so this is the first uh, very important. And the next, is that uh, this preparation needs to help uh, the, to the whole team to understand exactly as you do uh, what should be delivered. Yeah, so the, the, the sharing knowledge uh, should be on the proper level and everyone in the team need to understand what we are going to do uh, to avoid situations like this, for example. Yeah, so even uh, if the cake is nice, uh, that the text on it is not the proper one. So you are not expecting uh, to uh, have product like, like this. Yeah. So it's very, very important that everyone understand it in the same way. And then the next very, very important thing is that all those deliverables uh, we will be discussing uh, in in the next minutes is something what should be then an outcome from the discovery process so before you go to the development company before you maybe even start development because development company can also help you in this uh, discovery process if they have skills uh, it's very very important to be sure that everything what is prepared is an outcome of discovery process and uh, you minimize the risk of uh, developing something based on hypothesis which were not tested with the market so this is very very broad topic and i will tell you more about this in uh, another uh, videos so, yeah so let's move on the first for me personally very very important thing is to understand where we put solution application yeah, in most cases for example in b2b there is some process we have users that are using some tools and you build you develop something to improve the process things uh, what they are doing on daily basis yeah so it's very very important that uh, for the whole team will be clear and they will understand how it works now yeah so how your users are doing things uh, today and uh, how it is gonna to be changed by including uh, the software the team is going to develop. You can do it in many different ways. Uh, you can use BPMN uh, approach. So this is uh, this uh, picture above. You can use user journeys. There is a lot of different approaches, but it's very, very important that for everyone in the team it will be clear yeah so uh, before they start they understand uh, what kind of problems they are going to solve how users are doing things today and how uh, the, the software will uh, change improve it yeah it's very very important and then you can be sure that team will also give you some nice advices the next thing very uh, in most cases uh, uh, obvious are mockups, wireframes. So this is the typical thing which is uh, prepared before uh, start of any development. And this is clear, uh, it's simple, the one picture is worth more than 1000 words. So uh, it's something what, what need to be done, uh, especially when you when your team is going to build something what will have uh, UI and uh, people will interact with with it and it might be also on different levels it might be high fidelity high quality designs uh, those might be simple wireframes 
uh, and of course uh, depending from the team expertise experience uh, different level of, of um, knowledge are, are enough but it's important to have it in mind that it should be prepared upfront the next thing are user flows so how uh, users will uh, interact with uh, your solution uh, what they can do on the login screen uh, where they can move and, and so on and so on and here is very very important to uh, to uh, combine uh, those uh, flows uh, I mean how user is using the product with user journeys uh, or uh, diagrams I show you a few slides uh, uh, before and then uh, when you combine those two uh, things then uh, team can show you if you have any gaps if there is something what can be improved and so on and so on yeah but the input must uh, be ready before start uh, of the development and for sure it shouldn't be like during the first sprint we will start discovering what really needs to be done then uh, also very common things are user stories and this is uh, in agile world this is typical way how to uh, collect requirements uh, and you probably know how it works and uh, the team also will show will help you define user stories and this is something what can be done with the team in details but it should be prepared up front um, uh, a little bit here you have a very simple example yes as registered user i want to see my subscribe articles after login and the goal is that i want to read them improve my skills uh, and so on and we will go to another very important topic because user stories are not defining everything yeah so if you have a look on 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 this what is on the screen and then we will move to acceptance criteria so uh, acceptance criteria uh, is responsible for uh, for confirming that this what is delivered is this what was uh, expected by you yeah and when we come back to this uh, example then you can uh, you can see that user story was that as a registered user i want to see my articles but with acceptance criteria we can really define when we can say that uh, it's delivered as it should be this is example uh, where we use uh, behavior driven development so we use examples to define those uh, criteria and uh, in uh, BDD we use uh, something what we call scenarios where we exactly describe by using some uh, some words some uh, way of doing it uh, when uh, user story is uh, is completed when we can see when we can say that development is is done yeah so here we have two examples and uh, with this uh, for developers will be very very easy to uh, check to uh, be sure that they delivered what was expected and also for example for testing purposes it can be very very usable because then we know how to test and how to uh, how w when we can say that uh, something is is done and the last is something what is very very important is that the team the development company uh, in most cases uh, most cases their main work is to deliver you high quality software yeah so they are experts in this domain the domain of the solution might be whatever logistic it might be uh, beauty whatever or application uh, for, for which domain application is uh, being de de developed then you know, uh, they the, the development team can have some experience some expertise but they are should be the best in development so uh, the responsibility of everyone also your responsibility is to deliver them everything what they need 
to do the job well. Yeah, and this is why all those deliverables need to be prepared upfront. Of course, during development, they can be improved and so on and so on. This is also wide topic, but you never should start with the development from one uh, page of description. And uh, if you do it, you can be sure that you will burn a lot of money. And even with uh, agile approach, uh, the results will not be as good as they could be if you will follow the rules, how everything should be prepared. Okay, cool. Uh, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you have any questions, contact me and uh, I will help you. Thank you very much and have a good day.